Hello and welcome to this week's Dusa TV News, the first of the second semester. I'm Jess. And I'm Gary. And we're here to give you the top stories this week in and around Dundee. The University of Dundee has recently brought history to life with its reconstruction of the face of King Richard III. The project, which used the King's skull to build an accurate reproduction of his appearance, was headed by Caroline Wilkinson, Professor of Craniofacial Identification at the University. The collaborative task was completed with Janice Aiken of Duncan of Jordanson painting the model to add to its realism. On Wednesday the 20th of February, Bonner Hall will be playing host to the annual volunteering fair. Running from 11am to 3pm, it's set to be the largest yet. The fair will host organisations including the British Red Cross, Dundee Science Centre, Girl Guiding Dundee, the Liberal Democrats, Macmillan Cancer Support, Tayside Police and the Marine Conservation Society. After all the colourful lovey-dovey excitement of Valentine's Day is over, fancy something a little darker? London-based duo Rain, a dark electro-orientated band, are playing live at the Dundee Contemporary Arts Centre as part of Dundee's Enter Darkness event which is ongoing throughout February. The band will be backed up by Glasgow artist Female Band who takes inspiration from Gothic pop and London's bass music scene. The gig starts at 8pm on the 15th and tickets can be bought in advance from the DCA box office for £8 or £6 with a student matriculation card. As you might have noticed, there's been a lot of changes at the Dundee waterfront over the past year. One of those still to be started is the building of the new V&A Art Gallery. Ken Kuma, the architect of the V&A, will be hosting a talk on Monday the 18th to explain the plans for the building and to talk about his take on architecture in general. The talk starts at 6pm and the entrance is free, although tickets are required, so remember to book in advance from the events office, the tower building reception or from the university's online store. Scottish First Minister Alex Salmond has welcomed news that the University of Dundee is to team up with BioCity Scotland to launch a new pharmaceutical drug discovery scheme which will create around £100 million of research funding. The SNP leader said the other day, This provides enormous opportunities for Scotland's life sciences sector and is a fantastic recognition of the talent and expertise of Scotland's life scientists community. In particular, it shows the combined strength of the universities and commercial experts who have put Dundee at the forefront of the drug discovery in Europe for many years to come. Recent research has shown that four Dundee streets have made the top 15 of the worst polluted streets in Scotland. Friends of the Earth Scotland recently revealed that Meadowside, Seagate, Lockheed Road and Whitehall Street all have very high levels of nitrogen dioxide and are failing to meet air pollution targets which should have been met eight years ago. Friends of the Earth Scotland director Dr Richard Nixon said Air pollution is the biggest environmental threat to people's health and kills at least ten times the number who die in road crashes every year. But the Scottish Government and the local authorities have failed to take this issue seriously for years and need to do more than make promises that they don't deliver on. The University of Dundee's Feminist Society have mobilised this week to tackle an important issue regarding the betrayal of women in the media. The group has called for the Premier Shop on campus to discontinue their sale of the Sun newspaper, claiming that the tabloid page 3 section is nothing more than mild pornography. The demonstration is set to take place outside the Premier on Valentine's Day, this Thursday at 3pm. In celebration of Valentine's Day this week, the debating union will be running a light-hearted debate with a Valentine's Day theme. The motion, this house would provide prostitutes at the union, promises to provide a night of fun and entertainment. The debate will be held in the meeting rooms on the 4th floor in Dusa at 7pm this Wednesday. Dundee University's men's rugby team had a fantastic result on Saturday as they confidently beat top of the league Kirkcaldy 45-21 at Riverside. The Dundee boys ran right in what was ultimately a rather one-sided match with Cameron Thorne scoring a hat-trick of tries. The scoreline could have been a lot worse for much fancy Kirkcaldy and the boys go second in the league now and will surely fancy their chances of stealing the title this season. This weekend, Dundee University's Ultimate Frisbee Club headed to Wolverhampton for the University Indoor Mixed National Championships. Two Dundee Stars teams went down to the Midlands and whilst the second team didn't pull off any tries, eventually finishing 8th, the first team put on a fantastic show, narrowly losing a close fought semi-final with the Sussex Mohawks 7-6 and gaining a highly credible third place finish. Well done to everyone who competed. Woo! Yeah, woo! Yeah, spring break! Woo! Send your news to info at Dusa.tv and be sure to tune in next week to hear the latest and greatest from Tayside. That's, That's all, all for, for this week, week Dundee. Dundee. Section 1, take 5. Oh, sorry, can you help? Oh, shit, it's me. Reconstruction <laughs> <laughs> of the face of King Richard III. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Hello and welcome to Dusa TV. No, it's me, Gary. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Hello, Dusa TV. No, it's me, Gary. Hello, Dusa TV. No, it's me, Gary. Carla, 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 Carla. I just wanted some cheesy pasta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love Gary. Nailed it. Did that sound too sorky? Well done to all the boys and girls who competed.